here I am, travelers. I am in the Lapa neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro, and I am on a food tour. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's about 10 a.m., and I am hungry. Behind me, you can see a truck, and it has sugar cane. And the first thing I want to drink is sugar cane juice. I'm really, really excited to start it. I've had it before. It's really sweet. Let's do it. And as you can see with the skin, there's only skin left. I love it. This is my favorite fruit that I've tried so far. That's a mulia. It doesn't look sweet, but it's really sweet and it's good. I said the mango is my favorite, but actually, this is a close, it's a close first, it's a close second. It's good. We don't know. So I just finished eating delicious fruit of all different flavors from bitter to sweet and now I'm about to eat tapioca, tapioca is like a sandwich with cheese and oregano. Did you know that tapioca crepes or tapioca like pancakes are common in Brazilian breakfast? It surprised me one day when I went to a hotel for breakfast and instead of finding pancakes like I do in the United States, there was a line to get tapioca crepes instead. This tapioca comes from mandioca, aka cassava, or yuca, which is native to Brazil. So here I have my tapioca sandwich. Inside is cheese and oregano. It's kind of reminds me of a grilled cheese sandwich. The top of it is a different texture, but I really love it. It's savory, and I love it. Right behind me is a restaurant where I'm about to eat a lot of food. I'm about to eat some Portuguese inspired food, including bolinho de bacalhau, which is like codfish balls, uh, some goats, rice, and maybe even a little dessert. I'm really excited. I still have room from the other the tapioca and the fruit. So, yeah, let's go. I think I put too much pepper on my knife. No, my little ball. But it's good. It's creamy on the inside, hard on the outside. It's very good. I couldn't contain my excitement as I visited Nova Capella for the second time, eagerly anticipating the explosion of mouth-watering Portuguese-influenced flavors that awaited me. This legendary restaurant, steeped in history since its establishment in 1903, holds a special place in the heart of Rio, renowned for its delectable codfish balls and succulent lamb with broccoli rice. I'm like butchering the big part. It's very sweet. The dough is sweet. It's good. 
eating a delicious meal. I am stuffed. But now I have to say for before I type it in here, one of my favorite drinks here in Brazil. I'm getting the traditional one with lime and sugar. And yeah, I'll take you with me when I drink it. Alright, so I have my caipirinha and then behind me is the Lapa Arches and it's most of them. Did you know that the caipirinha is one of Brazil's signature drinks? It's made with sugar, lime, ice, and cachaça. Fun fact, the caipirinha was one of the signature drinks at my wedding. So when you come to Rio, you have to get acai. Acai is... Brazil is no process. I'm going to take a little taste, but behind me, this is I was told it's the most authentic place for acai here in Rio. How true is that? Well, let me find out. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. It's sweet, but it's bitter. I am stuffed. I have no more room. I started off with fruits and I ended with tapioca ice cream. The food tour was excellent. If you are in a city for the first time, be sure to book a food tour. It's a great way to get fed and see the sights. Until next time, travelers, let's travel with our dreams together. See you later. Bye-bye.